Only the person's shoulder I'm touching, only the person's shoulder I'm touching at the count of five when you open your eyes. At the count of five when you open your eyes, first thing you're going to notice, there's a little man standing on your shoulder, a little leprechaun, came, left over from St. Patrick's Day last weekend. A little leprechaun standing on your left shoulder. You're going to look over, you're going to see this leprechaun, and he's going to start singing Irish love songs in your ear. You'll be able to see the leprechaun, hear the leprechaun, describe the leprechaun. At the count of five when you open your eyes, that little leprechaun starts singing songs to you. Let that suggestion sink right into your unconscious mind. Only the person's shoulder I'm touching right now, only the person's shoulder I'm touching right now. In a moment, I'm going to remove one of your shoes. I'm going to take one of your your shoes off as I remove that shoe. That shoe is being erased from your mind, totally, completely erased from your mind. Loose and limp, loose and limp, loose and limp. Now squeeze real tight, 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 tight. At the count of five, when you open your eyes, you're going to feel wonderful, rested, relaxed. However, when you look down, you're going to notice that shoe's missing. But since it's been erased, you're going to discover you can't find it. No matter where you look, no matter how hard you look, that shoe does not exist. You can't see it, feel it, experience it in any way, shape, or form until I come up and touch your forehead. That shoe is gone until I touch your forehead. Only the person who showed her I'm touching very deep, very deep, very deep, very deep. At the count of five, your name is Bob. B O B. Starts with a B, ends with a B. Your name is Bob. At the count of five, let that suggestion sink way down deep into the deepest part of your unconscious mind. Only the person who showed her I'm touching right now, at the count of five, when you open your eyes, you're going to look over to the man sitting to the right of you. First thing you're going to notice, he's got the worst body odor you've ever smelled in your life. <laughs> a little present for not going back into hypnosis. Only the person. <laughs> <laughs> Person to the right of you smells, oh man, worst smell you've ever smelled. Like he hasn't taken a bath in weeks. You'll try to be polite about it, but the smell gets worse and worse and worse, more and more intense with each passing second. Let that suggestion sink way, 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 way down into your subconscious mind. Only person to show I'm touching, oh, sleep way down deep, loosen lip, loosen limb. Only the person to show I'm touching for the rest of the morning when you hear me and only me say the word hypnosis. When you hear me and only me say the word hypnosis, you're going to fire up out of your chair, jump out of your chair, shout at the top of your voice, it's DRJ for me. You're going to shout it with the enthusiasm and motivation of a cheerleader. Every time you hear the word hypnosis, it's DRJ for me. Just as excited, motivated as you can possibly be. In fact, each time you hear me say DRJ, you'll jump up and shout it louder and more invigorated. Be aware of the edge of the stage. You don't want to get close to the stage, but you will fire up out of your chair and shout that just like a cheerleader whenever you hear me and only me say the word hypnosis. Let those suggestions sink now very, very deep into your subconscious mind. Loose and limp, loose and limp. At the count of five, eyes wide open, feeling fantastic. Responding to your suggestions, one, two, three, four, five. Sit up straight in the chair. A round of applause for these guys. We've got to get ready to wrap this up here in a minute. I know I asked you before, and I truly do apologize. Your first name again, sir, is Scott. Do you know Scott at all? You know Scott? Well, I happened to talk to Scott, you know, and he told me his goal was to be number one in all of disaster recovery techniques. How are you, madam? I'm good. You're good? You look like something might be bothering you. Got a problem going there? Looks like, like you shoes. may have lost a shoe. Yeah. Did you come up here with two shoes? Well, it's got to be around here somewhere. See if you can find it. It's kind of important. You know, I can't leave you up here without a shoe on. Just do be aware. You know, we're up on a stage. You don't come to the edge of the stage. You can look all around. Hardy, try to. Uh, and I did not take. Well, I did take your shoe, but I kind of did not take her shoe. Right? <laughs> Let's try to help her. Would you all acknowledge that her shoe is within one foot of where she's sitting? Yeah. Your shoe is within one foot of where you're sitting. Come on, it's important that you find it, so if you don't mind, your first name again, ma'am, I apologize. Bob. And I'm bad with names, but I know that's not what you told me when you first came up here. Yes, I'm Bob. Your name's Bob. Are you, sh are you sure of that? Yes. Are you a betting person? Yes. I got a bet you might be interested in. I'll bet you $1,000 that your name is not Bob. Would you take that bet? Yes, I'm Bob. Would you, sh would you shake on it? Before you shake, before you shake. Watch, these are your compatriots here. How many people in this room think her name is Bob? Can I see by show of hands? Nobody in this room. Well, there's one, <laughs> okay. One. There's a joke there, but I'm going to leave it alone. Okay, you know, there's one. Your, your name is not Bob. Your name is something totally different than Bob. You really honestly think your name is Bob? Yes, I'm Bob. Uh, do you happen to have any identification on you? You know, you're wearing a name badge, right? Take a look at that name badge. Tell me what it says. Take a good look and tell me what it says. DRJ Bob. Okay. DRJ Bob. And you'll bet a thousand dollars on that. Yes. Did you did you come here with anybody? Do you have anybody that you know very well here? I've had drinks with people. Okay. Any anybody you might know by name? 
I know who they are. Okay, would someone who knows this woman very well please stand up and identify themselves? Anybody who knows this woman well enough to, that she would know you? Anybody? Well, you, you know, how many drinks did you have with them? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sir, would you please tell this young lady what her name is and be honest with her? <laughs> now, you know, I come all the way out to this DRJ convention, and I can't seem to find anybody tell me the truth. DRJ? DRJ. <laughs> Had to snap them out of his reverie. Wait a second. DRJ? It's for me. What's for you? How you doing? I'm loving the music. Okay, what? <laughs> what music? Are we playing music in the background? I got a little dude here on my shoulder. <laughs> That little dude got a name? Some Irish name, I don't know. Limerick? I don't know. What song is he playing? I don't know, I'm not from Ireland, but it's something Irish. <laughs> you What's guys it? can't see this? <laughs> no, no, we can't see it. Certainly can't hear it. Are you comfortable with this guy? This guy, look over here. This guy, number one in his entire area. You gonna be able to handle that? No, 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 pretty bad, huh? And you, I bet, are not hypnotized, are you? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta wrap this up. Maybe you know and the grand prize winner, the Hypno Toad. <laughs> All glory to the Hypno Toad.